fortunately i did have senior connects so they guided me pretty well and i started with ds in the and, first semester uh, a lot of people also ask that how do you approach to solve a question so uh, the first and the foremost thing always have a pen and paper while solving a question do not just do it in your mind or do not directly jump to the coding part first build the logic on a pen and a paper that is very important me today we have akshita jain who is selected in government sec as sw intern so akshita let's start this with your introduction okay hello everybody my name is akshita jain i am pursuing btech in computer science from igtw and i am an upcoming uh, summer analyst that is a summer intern at goldman sachs this year and um, i was also a tesis ace in educare uh menti that is a program that we shock conducts so yeah that's about me congratulations akshita thank you let's start this okay yes so first we will cover cover the eligibility criteria for this company okay so goldman sachs is a company which is open to all branches uh, so even mechanical people can target this company there was no and no no bias towards any branch uh, so every branch was eligible there was no cgpa criteria as such but yes there was this thing that during the jo- uh, joining time you should not have any active backlogs so yes there was no uh, cgpa criteria uh, uh, and yes so during the joining time you should not have any active backlogs that is it to bar yes Okay, Akshita. Next, moving to your preparation journey. How you started DSA? When you started it, uh, and all about it. Okay. So fortunately, I did have senior connects, so they guided me pretty well, and I started with DS in the first semester itself. Uh, I did Python in my school time. Uh, I had computer science, so I had a bit idea about DSA list. What is list? What is tuple? Dictionary. so i had that idea during the school time itself but then when i joined college seniors told me that you should choose either java or c++ even python is not bad you can do in python but i wanted to explore something new so i uh, started my dsa with java in the first semester now uh, talking of uh, dsa resources uh, i'll i'll be talking particularly about java so um, there is this uh, online website where you can find free resources it is known as pep coding i will type into the chat section pep coding uh ha so uh, this platform they provide you with um, free dsa resources it is like very nicely segregated and divided into sections that first they'll teach you strings heaps hash maps trees graphs like everything is very order wise sorted so you can follow that and you can do every question from that resource to hold a good grip on your dsa practice so it has around 450 questions in level 1 i did that and after that i was familiar with all the data structures uh, after that i went to lead code for practice so um, basically when we were preparing for je so uh, whatever you did in tuitions or coachings that is pep coding and then after that you used to solve your workbooks for practice questions that is lead code so then go to lead code practice questions and uh, how i started lead code was uh, there is this section top interview questions so they have 150 uh, around questions in that section so you start level wise go to that section you uh, and choose easy first then medium and then hard do that after that you will get to know okay so these type of questions are asked and these are the dsa question then you uh, do random lead code questions whatever or whatever topic you feel your weak in practice those from lead code lead code also has one very good thing uh, every day problem they have so every day solve one question at least so this was the these were the dsa resources that i followed and um, then uh, a lot of people also ask that how do you approach to solve a question so uh, 
the first and the foremost thing always have a pen and paper while solving a question do not just do it in your mind or do not directly jump to the coding part first build the logic on a pen and a paper that is very important so uh, take a pen paper uh, build logic and then start to code and if you're not coming up with any logic any approach whatsoever just at least try to think of brute force if beat n square n cube exponential come up with a brute force solution at least b only you, you are able to pass only half of the test cases you are getting tle or whatever but try to come up with something and if in, and if and after that go to the solution section or youtube is filled with all the solution videos if you go there is no lack of resources youtube has all the solution videos uh, read different different approaches to a solution do not directly jump to the optimal solution think yourself first and then search for uh, solutions so yeah thank you akshita for this next moving to resume part how you made it and what are the tips from your side for the resume okay so uh, resume always keep it one page and i think um, being second year students we also don't have that much of uh, stuff to write in resume that we get two or three pages filled keep it one page do not overfill it or do not keep it too blank just fill the right amount in your resume it should not look like that it is very uh, cluttered and has a lot of big big paragraphs or a huge chunk of text no it should have right amount of spaces also and it should not also be um, too blank like uh, write to the point things and do not write over uh, cluttered paragraphs that is something divide your resume in good sections uh education projects achievements uh and like good sections there's a there are a lot of templates also available online also mention your uh, socials like linkedin github not instagram linkedin github and um uh, your name and a lot of people also ask uh should we put a photograph or not um my seniors recommended do not put a photograph because it is going to make zero contribution to your selection so do not put your photograph and yes keep it neat not over cluttered or not too black that is it okay akshita next moving to oa pattern in your company and then we'll um, discuss about your interview experience okay uh, also one more thing i forgot to mention about resume um always write whatever is true in the resume do not try to fake anything whatever you know whatever you have actually achieved only write that uh, okay then uh, what was the next question of asna oa pattern oa pattern okay so uh, goldman sachs uh, particularly it had aptitude questions then it had two coding questions and it had essay based questions also at the end english so our oa was divided into three sections uh, aptitude questions um, all it had as far as i recall it had uh, operating system questions some dbms questions oops questions uh, object oriented programming so it had cs fundamentals questions then it also had um, some maths permutation question probability or whatever uh, we used to do in 11th and 12th in school or uh, what we used to do while preparing for olympiads that we participated in school so that would help in these aptitude questions it did have two three logical reasoning questions also uh, yeah so basic maths and cs fundamentals and um, probability and uh, permutations uh, and uh, coding questions coding questions uh, were also like pre- uh, medium to hard i would say uh, the two coding questions were there and then after that we had essay questions also so essay questions uh, they ask you a question and you are supposed to answer that so essay questions are basically similar to hr kind of questions uh, so that was the segregation of the divisions in my oa next coming to your interview experience like how many rounds were there somebody has two technical rounds one hr so how was yours Okay, so talking of my interview experience, it was my first offline interview. 
so uh, prior to that i had given online interviews also but online interview and offline interview is very different um so a tip for that keep your shirt and everything ironed the previous night because the day you are pretty anxious so keep everything ready the previous night uh, get properly dressed up be very punctual and in offline interview in goldman sachs we had to carry our uh, hard copy of the resume so keep at least three copies because you don't know how many rounds you would be going through in the technical process so keep at least three copies of your resume then we went there the it was a campus recruitment goldman sachs was an on campus opportunity so gs people came to the office oh, sorry to the college uh, they gi- they gave a pre placement talk and uh, they also gave us five or six minutes time to uh, you know socialize with gs people and know know about the company and just get comfortable so that was it and after that we went to the interviews so it was an offline experience uh, our names were called one by one we had to go there and um, so talk about my first interview there uh, um, so my first interview it was like it was different from all the uh, from most of the other candidates like mine was not very generic mine was specifically different uh, i had everything in my interview i wrote java as my language in resume so gs people yes they take uh, your resume into consideration a lot they ask you a lot of questions from your resume like i was asked a lot of questions from my resume like you should know everything you have written in your resume and then i had written java so she asked me a lot of core java questions like not dsa uh, questions but a lot of core java questions for example what are generics in java what are annotations in java these are not these are not the things that you would be knowing on, uh, if you are only coding in uh, java and you're just practicing dsa these were the these are the things that you know only if you actually study deep in about java so th- there were a lot of core java questions there were a lot of operating system questions a lot of uh, oper- uh, object oriented programming question or a lot of oops question uh, gs gs people actually asked almost everybody a lot of oops question so we also had to write the code and everything on uh, paper there like no typing no laptops on paper we had to write the code there so a lot of oops question then they asked me dsa question and it was also one question was asked i do not remember clearly but it was oops plus dsa question so it was not like it had a very uh, specific answer she said that this is just a problem you have to solve it using oops and dsa uh, it is an open ended discussion it does not have only one solution i just want to know how you are thinking what is your thinking approach towards that so this was um, a new question for me so these open ended discussions were also there and like in between she was also asking me a bit of uh, managerial or hr kind of questions as well so it was a mix of everything like uh, you should not leave anything before going to the interview so it was that and um, yeah so she she asked me a lot of about my projects also so this was my first uh, interview and it went pretty well i had prepared like i was very confident in java core fortunate i had prepared that and i also had interest in that so i read it before then came my second interview i succeeded so it was an eliminatory round people who could not do in first uh, were sent back so uh, next came my second interview second interview was also a lot of resume a lot of my projects second interview was two or three dsa questions so the dsa questions were uh, not very easy not very hard medium but i would not say it were very they were very standard like uh, new questions to me i did not practice them before but yes you can solve those if you have good practice one was tree question other was a uh, heap question and one was set question i guess so uh, this was my second interview and fortunately i got selected after the second interview only but uh, a few people also went through the third round as well so it depends okay akshita um, last thing 
डूज एंड डोंट्स फ्रॉम योर साइड ऑल्सो ऑल्सो कवर दोज टॉपिक्स लाइक फ्रॉम वेयर वी शुड प्रिपेयर एप्टीट्यूड एंड ऑल दोज थिंग्स ओके ओपासा सो फर्स्ट कवरिंग दी रिसोर्सेस पार्ट एप्टीट्यूड आई डिन आई डिन नॉट स्टडी फ्रॉम uh did not differently study from anywhere because i used to participate in olympiads and everything school so i had a good grip on that and it is also not something very tough like if you are an engineering student you are expected to know these things still if you want to practice you can google it uh, like common aptitude questions in um, uh, fintech companies and you will get a list of it there are no lack of resources everything is present on google so you can practice aptitude from there uh, personally i did not do anything but yes i uh, i practiced i actually gave a lot of importance to cs fundamentals i did object orient i did oops in java uh, from kunal kushwaha if you have heard um upasna uh, i'll i'll give you all the resources in chats so uh, he actually covered in seven lectures oops in java so it is very very good resource if you are a java coder you will be covering your java fundamentals also from there and oops also from there so that was for java oops and java core uh, operating system course um, we had in uh, college also the subjects oops and operating system college also we in second year we study these so those also helped to prepare me operating system also there is a series from love love babbar on uh, youtube you can check out that that is a very good resource for operating system if you want to study also whenever these uh, subjects come in your college duration na do uh, give it an importance there because uh, they help a lot because nothing is new syllabus is same so read those as, uh, in the in a way that you are reading for your interviews do not just prepare it one day ago for an exam prepare it for an interview so that is for that is that are the resources now do's and don'ts first do not panic please be calm i know it is very difficult uh, to actually not panic but all you need to be is calm and be confident do not fake it do not speak any anything that you don't know if you don't know something just accept because whatever you speak they'll cross question on whatever you just spoke so if i if i speak a line they'll pick a word from that and they'll question you on that so always speak very honestly that you know or you don't know i read about it but i do not remember it as of now so be very honest um also uh, be confident and be calm don't be nervous don't be anxious all you need to be is calm all you need to be is confident you have made it till the interview it means that you have a good preparation just be confident about your preparation and rest leave it to the destiny it will happen if you have worked hard you will get it uh, and even if you don't get it it's okay there are a lot of opportunities there is no need to be disheartened all you need to do is just practice and be consistent that is it these are the do's and these are the do's. 